When we believe that we can, when we believe something should or will definitely happen, we're just dramatically more likely to achieve it. I'm free, lucky! Six! <laughs> he got it! Brilliant! Brilliant! If you convince yourself that you're not going to get a job or that the salary level is much too high for you, then you just print out the same CV that you've had for years and you print it out on the paper that's been in the drawer and, and you just post it second class. But if you convince yourself that there's a really, really good chance that I could go for this job, yep, it's an extra 20 grand more than maybe I'm getting paid at the moment, then you get the slightly better paper and you put it in a slightly better envelope and you send it recorded um, and all of those things come together and begin to help you just do better. <laughs> For me, uh, mentalism is one of two things, and my job is just to disguise it as other things, but my job is to try and make a person do something when it seems like they've got a free choice, but in actual fact they don't. I'll try to control what they're doing. Um, and if that doesn't work, or if I choose not to do that, then I need to try and ascertain or work out what they're actually thinking. And those are literally the only two things. That's what my entire act, my entire show is, is all about. <laughs> The way that my act and my TV show is constructed um, is it's always inspired by interesting things. So I read everything from popular psychology to uh, behavioral sciences, even to uh, criminology um, documents. But then I also love to watch uh, mystery thrillers and documentaries about um, amazing crimes that have happened decades ago. And I use all of that as an inspirational base. Um, and from that then, I use those two techniques as a mentalist, as um, either making someone do something or working out what they're thinking um, to create um, something that will surprise and shock and hopefully astonish. Oh yeah, absolutely, and it's in this show. Um, so I think that's part of the fun of it, you know. I feel lucky. Two. Two. <laughs> Two, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, close. Oh. The great thing about the new show is that it's in front of a live audience so there's no room to hide if I mess anything up and I did and I do and it's all still in the show um, then we can't cut it out and another great thing about this new show is that when I do make mistakes you get genuine people standing up and saying oi balloon that was useless you know and it really works <laughs>